With the hot real estate market, we're seeing multiple offers, bidding war, and the prices are getting bid up even higher. What do you do if the property doesn't appraise? So here we have Lindsay Carlisle. What do you suggest? There are many options that we can take. The very first option, I think that would be the best course of action, would be to do a rebuttal. So one thing that we always do is meet with the appraiser and give them a packet of comparable properties and a list of upgrades for the property. However, the appraiser is a human. Um, occasionally, there can be an error. So of course, we're gonna comb through that appraisal report and see if there have been any errors made and then we can rebuttal that price and hopefully get a price correction. Um, in the case that they just came in low, of course, we can provide them with more um, comparable sales with the hopes of inflating that price. Now, that can be difficult, but it can happen. So that would be our first step, would be to go um, and rebuttal that price with the appraiser. So what are the options that a seller has if the appraisal does not come in at the purchase price. Okay, well, we're gonna have to think outside the box a little bit and get creative. Something to consider is if the buyer is coming in with a little bit more than the minimum down, we can always adjust the loan to value ratio, which really doesn't affect the seller or the buyer. Um, the second thing is that buyer, depending on how much they would like the property, can come in and pay the difference in cash. Not every buyer is going to have that cash, uh, so our next option would be then to renegotiate the terms of our contracts. Now we're seeing multiple offers and we're seeing a ton of Bay Area buyers. We're only seeing about 11% of our offers being completely cash. However, Tom, these Bay Area buyers, they are coming in with a lot of cash. And when we have all of these multiple offers, we will go back to the backup offers and we will contact them to see if they would be willing to step up and pay the price that the seller needs. And with the low inventory, it's actually very common that there is someone willing to get in and be the winning bid and make up that difference. Really, Tom, our worst case scenario is renegotiating the terms of the contract and going to the appraised value, which in a normal world, uh, most buyers want to pay market value for a home. So we've just been a little bit spoiled in this market. So the bottom line is we have options and we have strategies to help sellers and buyers navigate through the complexities of any real estate transactions. So. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call at 916-296-5841.